if we took this away from the general public, this would be a front of our First Amendment. So I decided the fifth and the fourteenth earlier. This is our first because people are unable to speak and articulate a point of view if they're not educated. This is our sole opportunity to try and find out how our tax dollars are spent and what things are going on. Generally, our public officials, such as yourself, you are relying on staff to make a vote. And it would be unreasonable to think that you've had the opportunity to read every single EIR and every single report to really make possibly the best decision. So you try to summarize the best you can and make a decision. The public, this is our check and balance, and this is why this system works. This is why we have a constitution. So we have this opportunity to try to say, whoa, 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 and buried within the staff report, and not by our elected politicians, there's something that's not best for the whole, and we bring this up for the benefit of everybody. And so to have something to confront our ability to become an articulate point of view in front of you and speak to this point would lead to litigation. Our alternative then would be to actually name the litigation so we could avoid slap suits that I know have already been filed, but name the individual that voted for something. Because then we could say, what information led to you to make this decision? And by subpoena, we can still get the same information, but then it would be very embarrassing because it would put our public officials at risk of showing why and what they relied on to make the vote. 